Hi everyone, Tron is here with the Curse of the Dead Gods. So this is, uh, I uh, think, uh, quite new rogue light, not even rogue like. It's in early access on Steam right now, and uh, I uh, already familiarized myself with it a little bit. But let's forget about that fact. So basically, here you're exploring some ancient temple. Uh, get cursed all the time, and well, it's a rogue light you die all the time. So let's just dive right into this ancient temple stuff. So this is me, I take it. I uh, love the style. All right. So I have a torch, that's something, and I'm um, not quite sure what's the difference between dark and light. Skulls, very Aztec-like or something. Flashing lights, uh, less Aztec-like. But you know, why not? Wow, um, okay, let's see. Uh, this is uh, the reward I get for the level, so... I think this path is better, so I'll take gold. And uh, in the lower right corner is my curse meter. Each time it uh, reaches a hundred, when I finish the level, I uh, get a new curse that makes my life obviously much more difficult. Some curses also give me some boons, but well, that's still a curse. All right, let's see. Hi. Hi, guys. You'll be my torch. Okay, so this one is done. Ah, spike trap. Yeah, nice try. Alright. More torch guys. Let's try to get rid of them as fast as possible. So that's all of them. Oh, and I've got a relic. So this one gives me more perception. No, not this. Oh, and uh, this gives me more gold. Gold is a valuable resource, obviously. So even more torch guys. Alright, let's try not to get got. And, uh, whoa, that's the first hit I took. And uh, I hope it lasts at least on this level. Oh, I've got two crystal skulls already. Those are needed to buy 
some perks that will stay with me after I die. So, okay, I have 300 gold. Uh, that's... Oh, whoa! That's not quite what I was expecting. Can I destroy those? I don't think I can. Alright. So, more gold coming my way. And each time I complete a level, I get 20 curse points. I think I also got get those from these guys. Oh, let's do this. So, yep. Yep, yep, curse points. Well, if you watched my Noita series, you probably know that I uh, love exploding stuff just for the hell of it. So, that's uh, the reason I exploded that barrel. This and it dealt a lot of damage to whatever those are. Okay. Oh, that's a sarcophagus. Yep, yep, there are more. There are always more. And I'm out of stamina points. Should do something about that. Like this. This is... Makana. Charged attacks deal critical damage. You know what? I love critical damage. So what's inside this cask? Plus 15 critical damage, so... That probably was the right choice then. Yeah... Most likely. Oh, that's the end of the level. Okay, so... At the end of this one, I'll get a chance to buy a weapon. Okay, let me just check something real quick. So, well, those guys are lurkers, and uh, those are not guys. Though the, those are death vibes. Well, I guess I know that now. Let's... Oh yeah, speak of the devil. So I think I maybe take more damage in the dark, but I'm not 100% sure about this. Ow. Not polite. Okay, need to regain some stamina. Get out. Okay, it's really hard to regain health in this game, so would you kindly stop taking it away from me? Oh no, oh no. So that's one less to worry about. Okay, um, in a tight spot somewhat. Okay, if I just... shit. I'll take now those guys should be a breeze. And taking out the big guy. Whoa. 
Let's light you up. And uh, not come close anymore. Because apparently that's bad for my health. Oh boy, you are persistent, aren't you? Not anymore. Alright. Huh, and where is my weapon? I was promised a weapon. Oh, look at this. That's awesome, right? Oh, yeah, silly me, this one. So, I can either pay by blood and get cursed, or I can pay by money. Two-handed weapon. Mm-hmm. So, no, I think I'll take this one and pay with gold. Huh, I should try it out on some poor bastards. Okay, here goes my first curse. Let's see it. Gold puncture. The god of death takes what he wants without agreement or principles. Each door imposes a payment of 300 gold. Each gold not paid is converted into damage. If all gold is paid, 5% of maximum health is restored. I, um... Well, I think I'll get enough to pass this door. Okay. Oh. Let's light this up. This party is now officially lit. Okay, this wasn't even a pun, and it, uh, if it was, it would be terrible. Let's get you over with. So I think this guy summons more of those lurkers or Oh. Oh no. Oh no, you don't get to heal them. If I don't get to be healed, no one does. <sighs> this is over with, and uh, this is basically what I have, so... Yes, sweet cash. Alright, I have enough for this door, but I don't think... Not for the next. Destroy each other. Oh, damn it. And if I. Oh, no. Well. Oh, this crumbles when I walk through it, so. Huh. Alright. Boy, you are persistent. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, I, uh... No. Here. I just need to find uh, that... Oh, here he is. Don't hide behind your minions. Done. Now I get to up my stats, but I can't pay with gold. I mean, I physically can. I just don't wanna. Yeah, might as well go all the way. So 
so... Oh, gold. Perfect. Really have to collect it all. Yeah, it goes up from 10 to 14 now. I mean, the amount of gold I collect from one pile. What's up? I really like this bow. Oh, I really don't like this guy. Well, that's done. And uh, this is done too, so what else is uh, there to... Eh, nothing. Moreover, I uh, get to regain some health. So, two unknowns and a uh, certain relic, or gold and, uh, you know what, two unknowns. Too bad I only regain 5% of my health. So, what's it now? Mortal Harvest. The life essence of those who sully the sacred temple is not wasted. The value of blood is far greater than that of precious metals when used wisely. Ones no longer contain gold but are filled with blood. Blood heals, heals but inflicts corruption. Yeah, well, it's not... I have a quite small portion of the temple left, so I... You know what, I might as well get corrupted. I really need this health. Oh, one corruption for 12 hit points. Are you kidding me? That's a steal. Whoa, 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 whoa. Those traps. So there is. Oh, it's an. So this guy again. Well, this goes well, things considered. Ow. And you've just wasted a lot of effort I, on my part, so... I am not okay with this in any capacity. And, okay, okay, here I go. A relic. What? Two base damage per thousand gold. I uh, don't have enough gold. Gain 100% damage taken in gold. That's nice. Frings remove 15. You know what? This makes sense more than others. So I'm corrupted as all hell now, but I have some health and I'm getting money. Right. Oh no. Okay. That's annoying. Death wives. Damn it. Should have dodged and then shot. But. One thing about those guys, they get damage from traps too. So if I lure them onto the spikes, that's very much their problem. It's minus one. Or I can push them deliberately with my critical attacks. Never thought of that. So, what this about weapon? It's two-handed, no. It's a claw. No. This one. Oh! Looks awesome, but... I think I'll pass. 
So what's this about curse? Am I going to make it to the boss? On my first attempt? Sulfurous barrels. Tamax Dominion is fire. Trap it in a bottle and the bottle will explode. Explosive barrels have an increased explosion radius. Okay. Oh, this is a haven, I think. So, it's a dark fire zone, so my uh, my torch doesn't work here. But I can offer some blood for some healing. Okay, champion. Let's do this. I have almost a thousand hit points. You are a great jackass. I see. Oh, hi. So, ow. First of all, not nice. Second of all, really not nice. That's minus one. Okay, so... Now, with uh, some attention and careful dodging, I can make this work. Too bad I don't have either. I seriously need more stamina and less panthers. And uh, the only of those I can make happen is less panther. Those guys. Okay. Ow. Okay, I am getting into the rhythm, I think. So I'm taking at least half of this guy with me, I think. Oh no, no you don't. Yep, half guy taken, so... Now at least I can be proud of myself. So, cat person, huh? I'm still alive. I thought I'd be finished by now. Whoa. I surprise even myself right now. So this goes exceptionally well. Not for long, I presume. Ah, damn it. I was so close. Well, this was a tough fight. Uh, I think I learned a lot from that. So... Just how many skulls do I have? Can I buy something? Five skulls, uh, maybe enough. Never an enemy is set on fire, has 50% chance to be weakened for a short duration. Uh, I don't know. Traps deal 100 more damage to enemies. No. Gain fury when you take damage. 
Yeah, I take this one and... Uh... Oh, Divine Favor, what's that? Fresh choice of items... Nah, looks like a waste of skulls. Okay, so this is uh, it for my first venture into this uh, temple with you guys. I'll continue this later. I'm not dropping Noita series, by the way. I just needed some, I just needed some variety because when I do same thing over and over again, I get tired of it. And uh, what's the point of this if even I am not having any fun? So this one has less destruction, but deeper battle system. I think it's not just casting; it's battling. So yeah, uh, whatever. I think you should check it out for yourself, it's quite fun. Thank you very much for watching, that means a lot. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed, leave a comment to let me know what you think. Subscribe to see more stuff and I'll see you next time, hopefully. Goodbye.